Hey, Greg, this is Alex with Diamond Digital Marketing, and I wanted to produce this website review for you. This video, we're going to cover a few things that really improve your rankings on Google. Thanks for reaching out on Facebook, and thanks for your patience. I'll keep it short. I know you're busy, and I don't want to waste your time, and I look forward to following up and getting your thoughts on the video. All right, we're going to cover those three things, content, citations, and backlinks. And stop me if you've heard this before, but the saying is, with Google, content is king. And that's where we start. We've got your website pulled up here and it's a great looking site, but there's not a whole lot of content on here. There's a few hundred words, you know, 500 words. And we really recommend having about a thousand to 1500 on the homepage and 500 to 750 words on the back pages. And the reason for this is you need authoritative and unique content that's relevant to your industry in your location with keywords. So for example, when someone types in epoxy floor, Philadelphia, Google's really looking to send that search to a website that's relevant. These are buyer intent keywords, and these are the ones you really want to focus on. Pulling up a competitor here, Philadelphia Epoxy Flooring. We can see that they've got a few hundred words of content. You know, you've got more than them, so you're outranking them there. But again, you could easily, easily take advantage of this and, and just start outranking them on the map pack, which we'll cover here in a bit. Um, over here at Concepts and Concrete, they've got a little bit more content on here for sure. But not a ton. Again, you can really outdo them with 1,500 or plus words with unique keywords in here. Now, moving on to a tool we like to use called Ahrefs. This lets us see what's working well for websites and what's not. We've got your site pulled up here, and it looks like you've got 75 keywords and 12 organic clicks a month coming into your website. Over here at uh, Philadelphia Epoxy Flooring, they've got 63 and 41 clicks a month coming to their website. And over here at um, the Concepts and Concrete, They've got 216 and 16. And what you want to do is go in here and see which keywords they're ranking for. You really want to use um, Philadelphia in there or just the location, specialized location, so it's not just Pennsylvania or PA, so that you're getting people that are ready to buy and near you. When someone searches for Philadelphia flooring, they're pretty sure they're going to contact you know the, the vendor and go from there. So we could see here that gets 100 searches a month. It's got a keyword difficulty of 12, so not too difficult, but you can definitely start getting traction for that. Flooring, Philadelphia, PA, 40 searches a month, not hard to rank for, only a four. Uh, Philadelphia, PA, floor. So these are kind of, you want to go in here and see how much traffic is getting um, searched for each month and go after those ones that, uh, that are getting the highest volume. Um, over here at Concepts and Concrete, again, um, a few more keywords in here, but... Um, again, you're really looking for a Philadelphia floor or something, you know, with the area Philadelphia concrete companies, 50 searches a month, five keyword difficulty, not hard to rank for at all. And you can immediately start getting traffic to your website for that. Now going over here, the next thing we want to cover are citations. When you type those buyer intent keywords into a Google search, the first thing you'll see here, so epoxy floors, Philadelphia, PA, you'll see some Google ads up here or play pay per click. The next area is the Google Map Pack or GMB. And what gets you into here are citations. That's your business's name, address, and phone number listed across the web in different directories like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yahoo, BBB.org, Yellow Pages, White Star. There's hundreds of them out there. It's not hard to do to get listed on them, just super tedious and time consuming. And this is another tool we use called WhiteSpark. This lets us research those citations. And we can see here, you've got 16 citations. Uh, Philadelphia Epoxy Flooring has seven and Concepts and Concrete has 15. And what you wanna do is go into these directories and see which ones they're getting listed at, the competition. Go after all of those and then a bunch more so that you're really taking advantage of that and um, you're staying atop of this map pack and they can't catch up. One thing I did notice is on your website here, you know, I mentioned that it's got to be your name, address, and phone number listed the same across the web. Your website's listing as um, Sicane, Pennsylvania. And then I did find a GMB for you, but this is listed as Clifton Heights, Pennsylvania. So you want to get on that and uh, make sure that you're being listed as the same thing across the web and it's not different ones so that all of the citations are pointing back to you. That's going to be really important. Now, the last thing we want to cover are backlinks. Going over here to Ahrefs again, we can see you've got 27 backlinks. And a backlink is just another website pointing back to your site. 
And um, it's kind of like a popularity contest with Google. The more websites you have pointing back at you, the more relevant your website is. Uh, you want the content to be relevant um, to, to your industry. You don't necessarily want to have a backlink from like a caterer or um, a mechanic shop, for example. So similar to the citations, you want to go in here and see where your competition is getting links from. Sometimes those directories will create backlinks, as you can tell here, yellowpages.com. Um, commenting on blog posts that are relevant content to yours will help. And asking friends to link back from their website will help. You can tell here another one, Yahoo, that's a directory that, that listed back to them or linked back to them. So in, in closing, we want to recap what we went over. You're really looking for about 1,000 to 1,500 words of content on this homepage with uh, keywords and 500 to 750 words on the back pages. Um, citations, you want to get into all these directories that the competition is getting listed at. Go after all those and then about 100 more so that you're really staying at top of this map back. And you really want to optimize this so that it's the same across the web and Google's recognizing that. And backlinks, you want to go in here and see where your competition is getting links from. Go after all of those and a bunch more so that they can't catch up and Google's seeing you as the authority when someone searches for epoxy floors in Philadelphia. And if you implement these three strategies, you can most definitely start outranking the competition on Google. I hope that you found this video informative. And again, feel free to take these tips and do what you can to improve your traffic with them. Thanks for your time. And I look forward to following up with you and getting your thoughts to see if you'd like to know more on how we can start taking some, um, some business back from Philadelphia epoxy flooring and over here at Concepts in Concrete. Thanks again.